In this video, I'm going to show you the secret to beating the cover three defense consistently out of the gun bunch formation in Madden 22. This concept will carry over to Madden 23. So if you're looking to get better for Madden 23, be sure to stick around and check out this video. Like I said, we're going to be showing you in this video how to beat the cover three defense. And my favorite way to beat cover three zone is essentially a basic level flood concept where we're going to be able to flood the cover three to the sidelines and then have backside routes as our checkdowns. The my favorite play to teach uh this from is the play bench pivot and we're going to show it to you out of the Washington football team's offensive playbook. This is a great play in Madden 23 as well. Now the setup is really simple. All we're going to do is streak our slot receiver. Now from there you have a little bit of an option that you can do. I'm going to give you you the option to either put your running back on a wheel route or to put your running back on an out route i personally prefer to put the running back on an out route because it both does two things it gives me a it forces your opponent to have to play hard flats on both sides of the field and it also is going to force your opponent um they, they won't be able to play man defense to be able to stop this concept so real simple, we're going to have a nice little high-low read, a three-level flood, if you will. We're going to have a deep route uh, from Rob Gronkowski. We're going to have an out route from Scotty Miller. And then we're going to have a clear out route, if you will, from Chris Gowen up the skinnies, up the seams. And so our first read is we're going to look at the seam. Can we hit that? Nope. Okay, we're going to then look to the flat. If they're not playing hard flats, then we are going to take our flat every single time. One of the things that makes a really good Madden player is somebody that takes their flats every single time. Now, uh, once we do that, we're going to show them that they are now going to have to play a very specific style of defense, and that is that they're going to have to have a hard flat on the field to be able to stop this. And one of the things you'll notice about this, and this is actually something that's fairly consistent in Madden 23 as well, is it can certainly be difficult for the hard flat even to be able to guard that. Essentially, they need outside leverage on him. And as you can see right here, now they're going to be able to guard that. But then what you'll see is it's going to leave our high route, right? Our high of our high low, our corner route. Um, to be wide open over the top of that uh, coverage. So now they're going to have to essentially play a cloud or a cloud or a purple, a double flat type of defense, if you will. So I'll show you this real quick. Now, this is typical that they are going to have to set zone drops to be able to get this completely bagged up. But what you will see is, again, this corner route goes about 30 yards down the field. Now, to save us some time here, I'm just going to jump back in and set some zone drops. And while I'm doing that, I do want to re uh, let you know that if you want to learn everything about the gun bunch in Madden 23 from the beta and all the stuff that you're going to be able to apply literally as soon as the game comes out, join my Patreon. It's only $10. It'll get you access to my full Washington gun bunch offensive ebook that breaks all of this stuff down into detail and gives you an entire scheme that you can use um, against your opponent. But what we're going to do now is we're going to drop a flat route over here from a cloud flat. So now we have the three uh, kind of levels, if you will, of coverage on this flooding combination. And what you're going to notice with this is that you can actually throw this tight end in front of the yellow route right there, meaning what they're going to have to do even more is now they're going to have to basically have a user over here to be able to defend this. So I've got a curl flat zone, I've got a cover three zone, and now I'm going to have to use her, if you will, over in this area. And on the back side of this defense, now I've got to have a very specific type of coverage, all the while dropping eight. And what you're going to notice is it's going to just put them in a position where it's very hard to consistently stop everything that we can do because we can highball this little in route over the top. Very simple to be able to beat the defense. So this is a way that you can attack cover three um, pretty much all across the board. Another thing I want to quickly mention here is if they are playing these, if they're not playing absolute hard flats, I want to be my absolute hard flats. I have my curl flats on 10. And what you're noticing is when you have your curl flats on 10 in this in this play, you're actually going to give up these quick outs on both sides of the field. Both of these out routes will be able to get 10 to 15 yards, um, again, of separation against your opponent. So what it continues to do is it continues to trim down what they can do defensively. And so I'm going to show you kind of a little bit of a, an additional example here. We're going to now drop these down to five, and we're going to drop these down to 25. And now they're in a little bit of a predicament. And the reason why is because, again, 
over here, we're going to have to put this linebacker in the middle of the field into a hard flat zone so that he goes to the sideline. And then as a user defender, we're going to have to be over in this hook area to be able to defend this. Now, if you come back over here, you're going to see that this purple uh, route and the yellow will both get sucked down. And I can throw that dig in behind that yellow for easy yardage. So this is a great little play to attack cover three. This play by no means is going to solve all of your problems, and you can't run it all game against great players. There are certain adjustments that people can do to slow this concept down. But whenever we're talking about cover three, especially from a bunch type of set, we want to have a deep route that's going to pull the outside third. We need to have a corner route that's going to get over the top of a hard flat. And then we need to have a route that's going to attack, essentially, if they're trying to play backed off coverage. And then lastly, I like to, a good rule of thumb is to have a backside check down that's going to come over to the middle of the field in case they put their zones um, all to the sidelines. So as you can see here, this is really one of the best plays in the game for attacking the cover three defense. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more about the gun bunch, I would really recommend that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and it will get you my entire Washington Bunch offensive ebook that you can also use in Madden 23, and you can certainly use it in Madden 22. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the ebook, join the Patreon by clicking the link in the description of this video.